Welcome back to our channel. We hope you liked the intro. So Osaka was the last leg of our Japan trip. We've also covered other cities in Japan and made videos on them. Links are in the description. If you haven't watched them yet, be sure to go and check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload fun yet informative videos. Coming back to Osaka. Let's start with Osaka Castle, one of the most famous landmarks in Japan. This place is a pretty big complex, comprises of the castle itself and a huge ground. Although you don't have to pay to visit the ground, you got to pay 600 yen to go inside the castle. The castle is 8 story high and each floor has exhibits. If you're not interested in museums, then better be hanging around the castle and explore the nice manicured garden which also has many foot stalls. After Osaka Castle, we headed towards a Buddhist temple. Constructed in 593 AD, this temple is considered to be the oldest Buddhist temple in Japan. This was by far the first spot in Japan for us to find ourselves a bit relaxed as it was not swarming with people. Next recommended Osaka attraction is Hozenji Temple. I was wondering how she managed to understand what he said. She told me later she picked up that one word which made sense to her was walk. And guess what? It turned out right. He dropped us at a location and we walked a bit to reach Hozenji Temple. Located in Namba district, this temple is rather a hidden, peaceful location in the middle of a super chaotic Godonbari area. Having said that, little did we know that while visiting Hozenji Temple, we were so close to the bustle of Dotonbori area, the most happening place in Osaka packed full of restaurants and neon lights. This area is quite popular because of its liveliness as you can see there are so many people around and there are a lot of performances which are going on there. The area generally comprises of the Tonburi Canal and the Tonburi Street which runs parallel to the canal's southern bank. It is one of the most colourful areas in Osaka. So, when you are in Osaka, experience the nightlife at Dotonbori. It's an absolute must-visit location. We also tried a local street food called Takoyaki, which is made out of wheat flour-based batter filled with minced octopus and onion ginger garlic. Later we hung out a bit more. It was super crowded but honestly, we did not care much as the vibes were awesome. We headed back to our hotel. This time around in Osaka, our hotel room was quite big as compared to the Japanese standard. So in Osaka, we are staying in this hotel which is quite spacious as compared to Japanese standards. Bathroom is quite interesting. So what is so special about this bathroom is that it has got a water cleansing function and this is the control panel. So this thing is quite interesting and which I have never found in any of the other countries. Remember the 2016 movie Why Him? Right. So that you focus on your end in there, and I will focus on your end out here. <laughs> this is it. This, this should do it, Ned. Okay, something's whirring. Something's spinning around in here. Oh, scheiße. Uh, we're having some technical difficulties. That was the vaginal cleanse. <laughs> so that was all from Osaka. Or should I say Japan? We were in Japan for 6 days and days just flew off. 
In these six days, we traveled through Tokyo, Kawaguchigo, Odawara, Kyoto, and Osaka. Guys, this country is far, but not that far if you have the desire to know and experience what's stored in this side of the world.